Hello, I'm here to talk about the progress of Stardust development, the build releases, and my vision for this project with my community. Being very inspired by No Man's Sky and Space Engine, I wanted to make a procedural universe in Unity, and I wanted the aesthetics and mechanics from both of those games. My first challenge was generating stars, as mentioned in my previous log. I wanted to mimic the ability to fly through space like in Space Engine, traveling past stars at faster than light. I overcame my generation issues from my previous video. Stars will now generate and populate over time, reducing stuttering. I also employed a Unity dot solution using jobs and burst to use multi-threading in my chunk calculations. After that, nebulas were added in 0.0.03 and I made an algorithm that generates their appearance procedurally. Thanks to Space Graphics Toolkit, they are volumetric and you can fly through them and they are massive. In 0.0.04, nebulas could fade in and out when spawning and approaching out of range. Thanks to more optimizations, you could now fly 10 times faster. And nebulas are also given names. In 0.0.05, I added an FPS counter, more optimizations, such as disabling distance and scale calculations with starlights when out of view. In 0.0.10, I tackle my next challenge. Generating planets and the actual stars themselves at each starlight. Using Space Graphics Toolkit, I was able to quickly create a star and planet generator, including an orbital system to help them rotate and orbit. It includes binary and single star systems, as well as planets. They can be terrestrial or jovian, with and without rings in various colors and sizes. Terra have varying terrain heights. Stars are also represented as main sequence, giant phase, and as remnants. More specifically, black holes. Now the scales and distances of these are not it to real life, as I wanted some artistic and aesthetic control. I may tweak these in the future to fit future gameplay ideas. Visiting a planet and observing the sky and surface is a real treat as it gives you a spectacular view. I also changed how controlling the ships work. By holding space, you can engage your drive from subluminal, superluminal, and hyperluminal speeds. You can autopilot to a star and watch as the star system appears almost seamlessly. This is very similar to No Man's Sky's Pulse, but with the ability to be used for jumping stars. I'm not quite happy with it as it does seem too rigid. I'll definitely work on this in the future. In 0.0.12, I made adjustments to the ship's autopilot, making transitions to planets smoother. Warping to stars from super or hyperluminal speeds is also smoother. You can now press C to take a screenshot. Names of planets and stars have been added and appear as location text. The location text will also show the type of location. Gas giants will say Jovian planet, terrestrial planets will say Terra planet, and so on. You can now fly deeper into Jovian planets before hitting the ship's speed limit for planets. You can check out more of our release notes in the build on the itch.io page. There will be a link in the description. And you can also play the build yourself. I'm excited for the potential of this project. I would love to start adding a voxel system for planets so we can have more varied realistic terrain that can also be sculpted by the player. Or maybe start working on a ship so that players can exit and enter the ship and walk on a planet. Stay tuned for more updates.